guys, we are back on the Telebudger Creek for another Gold Coast boating center walkthrough. What I have with me today, I'm very excited to actually show you. We are now the latest dealers for Stacer boats. This one is the 469 Outlaw side console, a very popular model in their lineup of aluminium boats. We're gonna take it on the water today, show you some running shots, show you some of the features of this boat too, some of the options which we've added on here. But if you're after a fishing boat where you can head through the shallows, take it offshore, this may be the boat for you. So stick around, drop a like, and subscribe to the channel, and that way you won't miss a future video. Okay, so working our way towards the front of this boat, well, just the exterior. We have gone for a two-tone coloring on this one, which Stacer offers. Now there's a range of colors. You can actually build your own Stacer on their website. It's very cool, it's a 3D little model. So you can pick around with some colors, um, different options here and there too. But this is the blue coloring that we've gone on the outside of this Stacer here. We've also got the white just to match it up with the two-tone offering. As we work forward, navigation lights standard from factory, of course. Now we have gone for the fully welded option on the top decks up here. So you have full welds running all the way through the front. And as we keep moving forward, electric motor bracket. Now, I always say it, they are so popular for where we are in the Gold Coast, Queensland in general. I wouldn't get a fishing boat without it. So we've opted in for the electric motor bracket up here. So you can put your Minn Kota up there battery storage in the front car set, which we'll go through a little bit later too. But the electric motor bracket up here, we've got an anchor well inside here, just feel like your sand anchor. Um, you can just stow that away. It actually drains out too. So if, it, if you do get water in there, it's not gonna overfill and you know cause you dramas. It's on a drain out uh, back into the ocean. We've got the bow, uh, the bow sprit with the uh, little anchor roller up here too. And as we actually got the upgraded bow rails up here too. So they're a little bit longer than what you come with standard. So just to give you a bit more protection, you can tie a few ropes if you're up there, fend, uh, like fenders off there or mooring, just handy to have that um, extra bow sprit. So very tidy front area of the boat, looks beautiful with the two-tone. Let's jump inside, we'll show some more features around the boat. Okay, so powering us along is no other than Yamaha and we've opted in for maximum horsepower. Love maximum horsepower. It's gonna give you the best power, best fuel efficiency too, and that is the 75 on the 469 Outlaw. This thing powers along like an absolute rocket. You'll see some drone footage now. It just goes crazy, especially if there's just one, like if you're just driving by yourself, feels like you're on a roller coaster. But it's always great to have that a bit more extra power if you are adding a few more people inside the boat. If you're taking some, some luggage on board, always better to go for a bit more horsepower. So we have got the Yamaha powering us along, which is the big 1.8 liter block on this one. And there's hydraulic steering too. So very effortless, silky smooth steering. We have got the rear boarding step as standard on this one. So nice big rail to grab onto. There's another little uh, rail here just to slip your hand into, pull yourself up. And as we move through on the transom here, this is where our live bait tank lives as well. So flick the switch on the console, that'll fill up with some nice fresh water uh, from the ocean. You can keep your yabbies, your prawns, your little fish, keep them all in there, easy to access and out of the way. All right, so this is where the magic is. Now Stacer has their own revolution hull and they have the unique ability to stretch form aluminium and that's what you're seeing right here. Now it's exactly like a knife cutting through water. You have a very sharp entry point coming through here. You can see how the aluminium is uniquely formed down here. Got a nice external keel running down there. And what that delivers is an exceptionally smooth riding hull through choppy water, through smooth water, all rounds of water. That's why this is such an awesome boat. If you wanna stick between the shallows or take it offshore as well, it will give you an amazing ride. Just check out how that comes through down here. And that's why Stace is a renowned for us being such an amazing all-round aluminium boat. Chops through the water and rides amazingly. I've just reversed out of the shallows here and I love this console setup. I'm seated well. The seats are incredibly comfy from Stacer and they're removable pedestal seats too. We've added in another position at the front. So if you are taking a few more passengers out, you can shift a few of the seats around. But as standard, you will get three seat positions and two seats can to get extra seats if you wanted to do that too. But couple here next to the driver, one a bit further forward, and we've added that one extra at the bow too. So if you wanna shift them around, go for your life. But down in here, I've got everything where I need it. I've got my Yamaha 703 control box living right next to me here. So if a simple operation of my Yamaha F75, that works a treat. Here is my Seastar hydraulic steering too. Silky smooth steering, 
especially on a, a big block 75 great option to have for this one so you do get the hydraulic steering i would recommend we have got our gme gx 750 vhf radio there too so if i am heading offshore great option to have cup holder here i have got the lawrence fs9 so this is one of the higher end lawrence models so it gives you your, your side scan your charting your typical sonar too in a big and very easy to understand nine inch display i have got my two yamaha 6y5 gauges down there too so it gives me all my information revs my speed all that is there and then i've got my three gang accessory switch panel there from stacer too but overall nice console it's got a nice grab point so i can lift myself out of the boat and it's welded into the console itself so very sturdy nice little storage tray down there and they've done a good job setting up on this 469 outlaw all right great option that we've put onto this 469 outlaw is of course the bait board now it's a really good height too especially if you are up here scaling fish filleting a fish chopping up some bait great addition to have and it literally just slots into the uh, little socket down here so on the day you don't need it under the pin take it out you can leave it at home have a bit more room at the back but if you plan on using it it's simple as just going straight in it's got a nice little uh, poly deck up here so you can chop your knives into there it's not gonna you know you're not gonna go into the metal at all so it's got that on there a couple nice rod holders too so if you're doing a bit of trolling it's all there and ready to go and at the back of the boat too it's actually got a nice shape inside the gunnels here what i like about this gives you a bit more room past the bait board area and you can actually cast a few rods out here it's a good height too it goes above my knee so i can lean up with my thighs you know if i am going offshore and it is a bit rocky i can feel pretty safe and i can lean up do some jigging over the side if i was getting into that but it is a nice height good freeboard on this boat too but i do like how it just cuts out a bit more and it gives you a bit more room inside this boat now it's not a fishing boat without a front cast deck and this is what we get on the 469 outlaw lots of storage under here too these side areas open up on either side so it maximizes the space and access you can reach your storage big one in the middle we've got our safety gear in here at the moment but you could absolutely go crazy under there with what you want to put down there um, we've got another one up the front here too so more up here is another little carpeted deck in there then there's our extra seat spigot which uh, goes across the frame there but i'm up nice and high up here i can cast a rod um, you can probably put two people up here casting rods it's very uh, lots of room up here and it gives you access to your anchor like we spoke about earlier too but nice and high uh, good size and what we've got down here is our electric uh, another battery storage area for the Minn Kota, which i spoke about earlier so if you are um, adding one of those on good little dedicated spot to put that away on the outlaw too you also get two side pockets along the one on the port side here good width too so you can put a little uh tackle tray if you want to do that but plenty of storage over there and you also get one on the starboard side so for rod storage you do get four rod holders standard on this boat they're located on the top gunners two on either side if you wanted to do more we can always add more for you all right now what we've added on to this 469 outlaw too for that sun protection this massive bimini here now this is the nt style which stacer calls it so it is a lot larger than your standard style bimini you will get but it works an absolute treat on this 469 outlaw it's massive it even it's covering all the way up to the front car deck here all the way across the back so if you are taking your family out if you've got a few more passengers and you need a bit more shade this nt bimini does a great job we've got full bows through here full collapses put it back in its envelope and you're all good to go with your stacer boat as well you will get the stacer aluminium trailer too so standard you will get an alloy trailer um, so very good uh, prevention of corrosion not going to worry about anything like that and you also get mag wheels standard from the factory so mag wheels alloy trailer i-beam too see that i-beam trailer very easy to look after easy to tow good and it looks good underneath your stacer boat that was the stacer 469 outlaw side console if you need any more information on the stacer range jump onto our website gcbc.com.au you'll find the full stacer range there the specs the features you can even build your own boat too if you want to speak to someone in person give us a call 07 but other than that 
This is a great all round fishing boat. If you're after something to take in the shallows like we are now, but even take it offshore too, this is a great all rounder boat. So jump online and see the full range at Gold Coast Boating Center.